Hi, welcome to Lab 2. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on exploring explainable machine learning using the Dalex package. Dalex refers to model agnostic language for exploration and explanation. The Dalex package help us to explore and explain complex machine learning models. For more information on the Dalex package, please check the links below. This tutorial consists of uh, steps one to four. However, I'm not going to explain steps one to three since we covered these steps in the previous tutorials in lab one. So let's uh, go straight to uh, step four. So in, the, in this step, we will use the Daleks and the I breakdown packages to calculate feature or variable importance, compute accumulated dependence profile, calculate Shapley values, and uh, plot breakdown profiles. So first, uh, let's uh, start uh, with uh, creating the explainer. So here, we will use the explain uh, function in order to create an explainer object which contains the explainers. So we are going to have uh, the random forest model that we created in steps three and uh, the training data sets which uh, comprises of uh, the uh, predictor variables that is the spectral reflectance values from Sentinel-2 bands and the responsible uh, variable, uh, which is uh, the land cover class. Okay, so if uh, we run this, we get uh, the new explainer. Okay, so next, we are going to use the model paths uh, function, okay, in order to compute feature or variable importance. Then I uh, will use the, the plot function here to, to plot the variable uh, importance or feature importance. So let's run the code. Right, so here we have uh, a graph showing us the feature importance. Uh, we see that uh, band 2 contributes most to the random forest model, while band 7 uh, contribute uh, the list to the random forest uh, model. Okay, so next uh, uh, we want to compute and plot the accumulated dependence profile for the top four of variables or a feature importance that we observed uh, uh, in this uh, section. So we are going to get band two band 11, band 4, and band 3. So what is the, the point here? Uh, we are interested uh, in understanding the effects of our spectral reflectance on the land cover prediction. Right, so we are going to use the model, uh, model profile function uh, in order to uh, to do the computation. So we are simply taking these bands, band 2, band 11, band 4, and band 3, and uh, we are interested in the accumulated uh, local effects. So let's uh, run the code. Right, uh, uh, we can see that here we have uh, our plots. So the y-axis uh, represents uh, the average prediction and uh, the x-axis here represents uh, the spectral reflectance from each band. So we have uh, from band 2, band 11, band 4, and band 3. Right, so for example here we can see that uh, band 2 is a strong effect on the prediction of uh, the built up class and we also saw we also see that uh, 
it has a strong effect on the bare areas uh, class whereas uh, in the other class we don't see a strong effect right uh, we can do the same computation for the bottom four variable importance variables okay so these are the bottom four for example we can take band 8 band 12 band 5 band 6 and uh, band 7 so for simplicity here i've selected band 8 band 12 band 5 and band 6 so we run uh, this plot okay then we get our accumulated uh, dependence profile for the uh, bottom uh, uh, four uh, variable importance bands right uh, next we want to calculate the Shapley values in order to check how the model behave for a single observation uh, in this case we are going to focus on a randomly selected uh, pixel value uh, for a given uh, band so the Shapley values were developed by Lloyd Shapley in 1953 the Shapley value of one specific band is the average marginal contribution of this band across all possible combination so the Shapley values show the extent to which a given band has changed the prediction so here we are going to use the, the predict paths uh, in order to uh, to compute the Shapley values. So we are taking in the uh, explainer uh, object that we created before, and then we are going to focus on uh, pixel number 50. Okay, right, so we want to plot uh, the Shapley values. So we will run this uh, code and uh, check uh, the result right so uh, here we can see the the graph so let me just uh, expand it a bit so that you can see it clearly right so uh, on the left side here we have uh, the bands uh, uh, with a specific uh, spectral reflectance value for the given uh, uh, pixel okay for example band 2 at the spectral reflectance value of 0 0.1486 so we can uh, check for the others as follows right so the green bars here uh, shows a positive uh, contribution while the red bars here show a negative uh, contribution so in general, we observe that uh, the built up class dominates the overall prediction because you can see that uh, most of uh, the bands here contribute uh, so much to the uh, prediction of the built up class. However, we can notice that uh, the band contributions for the other classes is quite uh, poor so this is a big uh, concern right next uh, let's uh, compute uh, the breakdown uh, plots or breakdown uh, a profile of plots so here we are going to use the breakdown function from the i breakdown uh, package however you can uh, I do the same uh, computation using uh, the Dalex uh, package. So we, again, we are taking the uh, random selected pixel value, uh, which is uh, pixel value number 50. And then uh, let's uh, run the code. So I'll, again, let me expand this so that you can see it clearly. Right again. Uh, here we have uh, the intercept and then we have uh, the spectral reflectance values at a given uh, uh, pixel location. 
right so the intercept here represents the overall mean value of the prediction uh, the green bars here represent uh, the positive contribution while the red bars represent uh, the negative contribution in the mean prediction the blue bars here here uh, shows uh, the prediction of a specific uh, observation right prediction for example of uh, the built up areas uh, for that pixel observation right so the breakdown plot also shows us that the built up areas uh, dominate the overall prediction uh, in general these results show us uh, poor model uh, performance so this is of uh, a great uh, concern right uh, so thank you very much for watching this tutorial uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed see you in the next tutorial